okay, buddy, I think one of these groups is so different from the two others. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm not stupid. Uh, one Direction was not America's mistake. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Seattle is getting the chance to laugh this evening thanks to this comedian, Mohanad al Shiki, is joining us live this morning. We are so grateful that you're here. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I was just creeping out on your Twitter page. You are cracking me up this morning. <laughs> you said that everyone has oh, to come you. to your show or else they have no choice. You said, I have no choice but to fight each of you individually. <laughs> yeah, and I, I will make the time to do so. <laughs> I look forward to seeing that. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, you have appeared on some big productions. So um, start out by telling us, uh, you know, some of our viewers uh, about where they might know you from. Well, I've uh, been doing stand-up for a while, so you probably have seen me on uh, Conan O'Brien. Uh, uh, I've also worked for Full Frontal for a while. Uh, I've been I've toured with Pop Up Magazine before. Uh, I used to live in Portland, Oregon, so I used to come down to Seattle a lot. Uh, so you you might have seen me there. Uh, uh, in your intro, you said I have, uh, sued the U.S. government, so probably you saw me on the news. Okay, I want to ask you about that. You sued the U.S. government. What what happened? <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's, I mean, it's truly the most American thing anyone can do uh, to uh, sue someone. Uh, so I did that. Uh, it was over, you know, uh, back in 2019, I was uh, taken out of the uh, Greyhound bus by uh, Border Patrol, and I was accused of being of being here, of falsifying papers and being here, you know, illegally. And it was a whole thing. And... Uh, and obviously, it was like a case of like uh, racial profiling. So what I I had to do eventually is um, sue them, and we eventually settled after maybe two years or so. That's amazing. And did you, I, I yeah. feel like if I remember the story correctly, you had you documented it all like on your on your Twitter page. Is that right? I did. I did. Yeah. Instead of talking about it in therapy, I just went and I tweeted about it. <laughs> Which uh, is what we like to do. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, I'm going to complain to strangers and see where that takes me. And obviously, when I did it back then, I was like, maybe 20, 30 people will see it. And that's enough. Uh, but then it was hundreds of thousands of people, uh, which was, you know, good and bad. Oh, my gosh. So you are performing tonight at uh, Hereafter in Seattle, which is, by the way, it's part of the crocodile. Um, what can fans expect during one of your shows? Uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, they're going to uh, expect a good time. I, I will come with jokes that I've, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> they're all tested. They're all great. They're all fun time. But, you know, I've, I'm also doing an hour and I'm bringing some uh, comedian friends with me who are extremely funny. So, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be, a you know, an hour and a half or two hours of extremely good time. And or the alternative, you know, people don't show up and I have to fight them and I am prepared. <laughs> I, I hope I don't run into you in the streets of Seattle when that is going on. <laughs> but, uh, well, I mean, we'll see. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to see you here at the at, at the uh, hereafter, uh, which is, I believe, it's like the new-ish crocodile. So that's going to be a really good time mm -hmm. uh, live yeah. this evening, uh, scheduled to begin at seven o'clock. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate Absolutely. you. Absolutely, my pleasure. Yeah, hearing your story, and it, it sounds like you know you can still get tickets there. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Awesome.